hey 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 welcome back to the channel it is of course your girl moya if you're new here subscribe if you are not new make sure you turn on your notification bell and consider joining the membership to get that free subscription box monthly in today's video i want to talk about the truth about the budgeting community something that i don't know if y'all are aware of but what i've learned since i've started this journey and i wanted to show you guys some updates that i've done to a few products that will be going live on the website this Friday, July 19. Let's get into the video. Today's positive quote is, a little progress each day adds up to big results. So it doesn't even matter how small of a progress that you are putting in, just make sure that you are putting in that progress. That's how you're going to see the results. Before I reveal that truth about the budgeting community that I've realized, I want to show you guys the updates to the products that will be available on Friday. Now, I've decided to do a little 15% off your entire order this Friday along with the new stuff that are going to be posted. So if you guys are interested, enjoy that 15% off your entire order for Friday. Now I will end the 15% off on Sunday morning. So if you guys want any of the products shown in the new arrivals or anything on the website, then make sure you get it between Friday and Saturday. Cause Sunday that discount will be gone and the discount will apply to your entire cart. So it doesn't matter if you're getting new stuff or stuff that has already Already been on the website now introducing to you guys I now have available the matte envelopes these aren't vellum these are just matte and you get to pick your label so I have the colors black gold pink white and there's going to be lavender as well like a purple so you'll get to choose between those colors and then you can buy a five pack or a ten pack of these envelopes of course the label i will label them for you you just have to write your label inside of the little box option that will be there and then i will make your envelopes with the labels for you these envelopes are already made i didn't make these these aren't handmade by me i ordered these from my manufacturer and then i'm just going to put the labels on there for you so if you guys are looking for new envelopes and maybe you're not a fan of the vellum ones or it's a little pricey for you these will be available on the website for a more a little bit more affordable price than the vellum back with sakura i've made a little update to sakura so instead of having the little sticker thing sakura now has labels on it so if you guys can see, you see $50, $50. It's now labeled with the amount instead of having the little kitty thing that he had. So that's the change that has been done to Sakura. Introducing to you guys, I don't think you guys have seen this, but with this binder, it is for low income budgeters. You get to save $550 using Pretty Little Lavender She. And with this binder, it is five envelopes and the challenges. And the challenges are scratch off challenges. But when you complete the entire challenges or the entire binder, you will have $550 saved up. Now these are the pages and then the envelopes are the matte envelopes as well. Not vellum, just matte envelopes. So it is a set of five challenges and the total equals to $550 just trying to cater for my lower income earners. Then we have the $1,000 savings. I did do a video with this, but I made a change to it. Instead of using the $1,000 vellum envelopes that are on the website, I've created its own $1,000 challenges. So if you can see here, it's five envelopes as well with five different um, inserts. And when you complete all five inserts, then you would have saved up a thousand dollars. 
these are really good for gifts as well it's a lot of people who struggle with saving it's surprisingly a lot of people who struggle with saving so if you want to buy this as a gift for someone you also can now you will get the option whether you want to add a far ball to it or not that's going to be your option on the website you have the 5k savings just like the other one i've just updated it and put challenges instead of the envelopes and then you also get to have five um inserts as well but when you complete this then you would have 5k saved up and then last but not least the 50 envelope challenge i did show you guys the challenge i just didn't show you guys the envelopes because i didn't do the envelopes as yet <laughs> but i've gotten a chance to do the envelopes so this is what it looks like inside this is the dashboard and then this is the tracker and then it's purple on the envelopes it's labeled one through 50 so that's where you will put in each amount now i decided to do this as well for the lower income earners as y'all can see it saved twelve hundred and seventy five dollars so you don't have to do the 100 envelopes if you can't handle it we understand honey we can do the 50 envelope which is not as bad okay so these items are going live on the website friday it's probably already friday by i'm making this video but um yeah friday july 19 they're live to get the 15 percent off your entire order you have to make a purchase friday or saturday sunday morning at 9 a.m the discounts will expire so go ahead and make your purchases if you're interested in any of these binders that you're looking at right here now let's talk about the truth about the budgeting community i'm just going to be straight up honest y'all know that y'all could rely on moya to give y'all some tea and y'all could rely on moya to just be honest I'm gonna tell y'all what I've realized in the budgeting community. I've realized that a lot of people are fake. A lot of people are mean, very mean. A lot of people are just not nice. I've realized that. And personally, uh, me personally, I'm not the one to ask you anything. Like I prefer to go figure my stuff out by myself. That's just how I am. Like I'm not the one to text you and be like, hey girl, um, how do you do this? Or I'm not that person. That's okay if you're like that. But what you have to understand if you're like that is that not everyone is nice. People are mean, okay? And the budgeting community is filled with meanies, fakies, people are fake very fake me personally i just stay in my little bubble and mind my little business and do my little videos and do what i'm doing because i do realize that a lot of people in the budgeting community are mean and i do realize that they are fake and i don't know if they just don't want to see you succeed i don't know what it is but they are fake, honey boo boo. A lot of them are fake. My advice to you, if you are about to become a part of the budgeting community, I would suggest sticking to what you know. If you need any question, if you have any questions or whatever, I would honestly suggest to do your own research and do your own thing. Because I've seen a lot of people, especially on my Instagram, complaining about other budgeters and how mean they are. And it's crazy to me because why do you have to be mean? I don't want to ask nobody in the budgeting community that's been there before me or whatever because I feel like people are just so mean for no reason at all. I've seen them being mean to other people. They can't be mean to me because honey, I am going to put them in their place real quick. So no, it wasn't a personal encounter. It's just me sitting back and observing and seeing things happen between some of my followers on Instagram that I've seen and that I've, you know, answered a few questions for and stuff. And to see like when people ask me questions on Instagram or they suggest something to me or whatever, to see them be like, oh, I'm not trying to cross a line or I don't mean to be rude. I'm just telling you that. It's like, oh my goodness, it's like they have PTSD. <laughs> 
a lot of times I'm like, girl, why do you don't have to say that? I appreciate that you're giving me a suggestion. I appreciate what you're doing. And it's so surprising to me. It made me realize that a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more people in the, in the community seems like it's not, they're not real. They're, they're fake and they're rude. And this is just me grasping this from a couple of my Instagram followers who just straight out the bat told me and just seeing people post on their stories about it, it's like, whoa. So it's a lot of people in the budgeting community mean and just nasty attitude and just not nice. Wow. So that's really the truth about it. Now, I'm not saying everyone is. I'm just saying it's certain people in the budgeting community who are not nice. And it's people everywhere who's not nice in whatever whatever you're doing. You know, it's not just budgeting, it's just the world. We're dealing with the world here. Um, I think a lot of people fail to understand. It's just that the truth about the budgeting community is just that people in the budgeting community are mean. <laughs> Somebody gotta say it. I'm gonna say it. It's true. They are mean. They're very mean. And I get this from the way people asking me a question. It's like people got PTSD. It's like people are scared to ask questions. People are scared to say certain things to, to me because I feel like they've had this experience with others. And some people just straight out the bat tells me straight up, oh yeah, I was dealing with this person and they're very rude and whatever, whatever. So yeah, that's really the truth about the budgeting community. It's not all kicks and giggles and welcome in. No, honey, you don't get no welcome in. It's a lot of people who are nice. We have really nice people in the budgeting community. Don't get me wrong. Your girl Moya is one of them. Y'all know that. <laughs> but on the other end, the meanies. The meanies, the meanies are active up in here. Okay, they are active up in here. But thank y'all so much for watching the video. I hope that y'all are gonna make y'all purchases on Friday. Enjoy the 15% off discount for your entire order and I will see y'all in the next video.